Hi guys and welcome to a tutorial on how to use the radio syncing on your radio controlled watch. This is the U600 movement which is present in the Navihawks and the Skyhawk watches. So these watches are designed to keep accurate time by once a day trying to read a radio signal which is broadcast from either the United States, Germany, China or Japan. So in the manual it actually shows the radio pickups for these areas. So this is the island of Japan and they have two towers. This is in Fort Collins in this great state of Colorado. As you can see it goes up to the top of the continent and into Central America. This is the one for Europe. It is in East Frankfurt, Germany. That's the pickup there. It goes out to Ireland, top of Spain, most of Italy, and then Eastern Europe. So if you're lucky to live in an area within this radius, your watch will be sinking once a day. I'm going to talk about that sink and what you need to do so that your watch will know how to sink. So, let me just get this out of the way. The first thing you want to do is either have it on your home, your home city, or a zone that represents your home city. So I've created my own home city, which is plus 10 hours of UTC time. The watch will therefore understand that that means that the closest tower to me is Japan. Japan has a pickup of around 2,000 kilometers. I live 7,200 meters, sorry, 7,200 kilometers away. And believe it or not, it actually picks up a faint signal. But hopefully you live a lot closer, you live within the, those areas shown on those diagrams. So if, once you find out where your local tower is, what you want to do is understand where you are in relation to that tower. Is that north of you? Is that east of you? Is that west of you? So look up your city on, on Google Maps. In America look up Fort Collins in Colorado. In Europe look up East Frankfurt in Germany. And just try to Try to understand where you are in relation to that. Then you're going to get a compass and you're going to position your watch facing that tower. Once you've determined uh, which direction the tower is from you, you want to pay attention to this side of the watch. This is where the radio antenna is inside of your watch. You want to place it down flat and hopefully at a window. You want as little obstruction as possible. The watch will try to sink to the tower at 2 a.m. If it, if it is unsuccessful, it tries again at 3 and again at 4 a.m. You can also manually set a time where it will try to sink outside of this, so it allows you to change 4 a.m. to another time. You must ensure that the watch is not next to anything that will cause radio interference. So don't put it next to your phone, don't leave it next to the computer, anything that's going to be giving off its own electromagnetic field or radio field. That is automatic. That's how you do it automatically. And as well as having the home city set, you must make sure that it's in either time, calculator, or the radio receiving mode. There is a manual way to do this. So let's say where you live, there's a lot of uh, high density buildings. Something is blocking you from getting a signal. So maybe when you go to work, you have a better position where you can get a signal and sync your time to these radio waves, which uses atomic clocks. In time mode, all you have to do is press this lower button. 
hold it down till it beeps. Then goes to 12 o'clock, which says that it's in the radio receiving mode. As you can see the, the lower hand there, because my home city was plus 10 hours UTC, it understood that the Japanese towers were the closest. It's going to try to get a signal from Japan. This process can take between 2 and 15 minutes. I've uh, seen this watch pick up a weak signal, so it will come down here on the right, and you can see the H and the M, and the minute hand is just obscuring right now the L. But often it will pick up a slight signal. Today it's quite rainy where I am. Um, I don't believe that it would be able to pick up a signal. But that is the process. Press that button, and if you can, lay the watch flat, and, and again, understand where you are in relation to the tower. Try to face this side, facing the tower. And hopefully, you'll have the exact time and your watch will be able to sync every single day. Thank you.